Now, Joan Didion, a literary icon who chronicled 60s and 70s US culture with screenwriting credits, including the 1976 film A Star is Born, has died at the age of 87. The novelist and essayist examined the fragmentation of life in America through books such as Slouching Towards Bethlehem and The White Album. Her award-winning book on grief, The Year of Magical Thinking, was inspired by the death of her husband and her daughter. Well, Adam Dalva is a book critic and author who teaches her writing to university students, um, and he's in New York for us now. Adam, when you think of Joan Didion, what does she represent to you? I thank you for having me on, Simon. I think she represents several things uh, to every American writer. She, Didion herself said, I have already lost touch with a couple of the people I used to be. So the two things I think she is most remarkable for are her, is her use of creative nonfiction in the personal essay, which totally changed the genre. There were dozens and dozens of writers today sharing not only that she was their favorite writer, but that they would not have known how to write without that. And then, as you said, her, her writing on grief uh, later on in her life is some of the most fabulous elegiac writing I think we have. And, and you teach students her work, obviously, goodbye to all that. How do they react to, to um, pieces like that? Well, you know, Goodbye to All That, which is a, one of the, the first leaving New York essays, is, is a story about a young Didion coming to New York and having a kind of mythical experience, but also puncturing that mythical experience because she's aware of it. Just today, I had a student email me about an hour before it went on to say, thank you for teaching me that essay. Uh, and for a student in 2020, an 18-year-old, to say that about an essay written in 1968, I think speaks to how fresh and contemporary Didion really feels. Um, she teaches students so much about how to describe things and how to show personal vulnerability uh, in a limited perspective. The book that focuses on grief, um, a lot of people on social media today saying that that really helped them in times of, of trouble. Is that something that you um, agree with and kind of can, can, can understand? A hundred percent. It is such a challenging book because it is so painful and sad. But I think anyone going through a difficult situation or even perhaps anticipating a difficult situation will see themselves in the magical thinking that Didion's talking about, which is essentially leaving a pair of shoes so that her late husband can come back to them. Um, these ideas of Americans don't handle grief very well, as, as I'm sure you might know, and, and Didion really captures how it feels. It's a remarkable book. And uh, alongside that, she was also a pretty cool character, right? <laughs> Yeah, actually, she had the most, there's a tote bag uh, with her on it that was the hottest item in New York in 2017. She had the cigarettes and the sunglasses. Har a young Harrison Ford was her carpenter uh, in the 70s in California. She threw amazing parties. She hung out with the doors. Uh, she couldn't have weighed more than 80 pounds uh, and chain smoked cigarettes. And this idea of, I think, the writer as a character really helped her in her writing. Uh, and we, we all loved her. You know, she was a prickly <laughs> presence and that made it really fun. And I, and I gather you have one passage in particular that means a lot to you. Would you mind reading that out for us? Oh, I'd be honored. Thank you, Simon. Um, this is the very end of, of the year of magical thinking. And she's writing about her late husband. I think about swimming with him into the cave at Portuguese Bend. The tide had to be just right. We had to be in the water at the very moment the tide was right. We could have only done this a half dozen times at most during the two years we lived there, but it is what I remember. Each time we did it, I was afraid of missing the swell, hanging back, timing it wrong. John never was. You had to feel the swell change. You had to go with the change. He told me that. No eye is on the sparrow, but he did tell me that.